Hi, it's the 30th of September, plenty of news, uh, it just uh, just gets worse every time I do one of these. So here we go. The EU mobile coverage uh, may go down this winter, um, so yeah, they're saying it's due to blackouts and things, but I won't be surprised if it's cyber attacks and, uh, you know, internet and everything. You know, it's all going to be simultaneous to get us to accept this new world they want us to have in Dubai. Poor people get free bread from a bread for all machine hmm at the EU is to ban rusky toilet paper how many times have I mentioned that in the last month shaving products soap floss and deodorant hurricane Ian's damage to a fertilizer plant in Florida could cause a surge in grocery store costs US egg prices hit a record high due to the avian flu. In the UK, the buy one get one free promos are still likely to be banned, even though Liz, I'll call a distrust, said it wouldn't. UK supermarkets uh, are at a risk of default, so uh, Asda and Iceland are in a bit of a bad place at the moment. UK again, Morrison supermarket its profits are plunging 50% due to inflation. UK pensions nearly suffered uh, a massive amount earlier this week. Um, please research and uh, watch Pimpy's Investment Chat YouTube channel. Uh, I think he released it late last night. The International Monetary Fund urges the UK to reverse the top rate of income tax cut in a rare intervention. Uh, I've mentioned about the IMF and uh, strings attached bailouts that they would do. In the UK, building societies are under pressure as lending costs rocket. Now, one building society called the Nottingham uh, has revealed the closing about 20 branches, and that was earlier this week. A Zero Hedge article saying that gold is one of the best performing assets of 2022. The BRICS nations, B R I C S, discussed the possibility of a one currency between all of them. So, yeah, it will ultimately go to the one world currency. Now, I'm going to call this section the What the Fudge, so WTF section. Doncaster Sheffield Airport is to close. Um, the In UK 2030 documents, I'll append these, I can't really say it because I've tried to put this onto many different chats in the recent weeks and it always disappears. So this document shows there will be no UK airports by 2030. Palantir had a secret plan to crack the UK's NHS. Um, basically they've been trying for the last two years uh, to privatise it. Amazon wants to use a radar gadget close to your bed to track your breathing while you're asleep. So they want you to buy it and give all that information to them. The Gates Foundation commits 200 million to digital ID. The Bank of In International Settlements has done a pilot uh, with four other countries on central bank digital currencies. In the UK, uh, digital ID is required to apply for jobs. And finally, this is why Tesla are getting rid of so many people from their jobs. Tesla are going to employ thousands of its humanoid robots in its factories. So there you go. Another day, another load of dystopia. Please pass on to as many as you can. Get prepared. I'll see you on the next one.